What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about player homes. This isn't something that Bethesda is going to deliver, but it's more more like my own ideas that I've had for a long time that I think Bethesda should add to Fallout 76. Starting off with Initiate Dodge, if you remember from Daily Ops, uh, there's actual mission with him down in Watoga. He's got his own place. Uh, you complete Daily Ops, and then you have the option to send him back up to Fort Atlas. Um, so only after you send him back up to Fort Atlas, I think there should be a mission called Moving In. And basically what this would allow the player to do is go back up to Fort Atlas, where they sent Initiate Dodge, and they would be able to get into a dialogue with him, and then at the end of the dialogue, maybe he'd be able to give you... Uh, his old key card to his old place um, and essentially it would be his old place in Watoga Towers which is already instanced and again it would be free um, and then later I'll discuss like a like a paid version like a fall first version uh, but it gives you the key you go down to Watoga Towers and you, you basically are allowed to kind of clean up the place and then redecorate it and put down some crafting benches you know put down a bed or if you can imagine like putting up some uh, paintings or some chairs or uh, and just have a hangout for you and some of your friends I think a lot of players would appreciate this who don't have the skill or the time or the resources to build uh, such large camps or maybe just Having their camp res in is something taxing for maybe one of their old Xboxes or whatever console that they're on. Uh, I think a lot of people could get behind this idea. It would kind of work like shelter or instance area like Fort Atlas to each individual player. And you can choose, uh, you know, if you're part of a, a group, then the solo player would be the one that you join whose, whose house it is. Or you could join, you know, your own house. It would be that option at, on the elevator call button. I think that'd be easy to script into the game. The other one, which is paid, like I mentioned, would be fall first. And again, I want to preface this by saying, um, these are just my thoughts. These are just thoughts that I think, uh, ideas that I think that uh, Bethesda could and should put into fall 76. I've had these ideas and thoughts um, that I've discussed with my friends before. Um, I've had them for years. There's been plenty of things that I've discussed uh, I think one's still coming down the pipeline um, but I've discussed a lot of different things that they sh should put in the game and so far it seems like they've been listening so I'm hoping this video gets enough reach that somebody and I'm not a huge youtuber so that's why I'm asking for you you know the community's help but if you could imagine um, maybe like a fall first only player home um, which then you would also have your free one but if you could imagine like uh this place called shadow breeze apartments which which is located in morgantown um it having like maybe if you ever seen john wick as well like the hotel manager kind of guy i believe he's the man I, I don't really remember but point being um it could it they clean it up, they give it all the ghouls, um, and it just had a little bit more to build in there and whatnot, similar to the free one, but just a little bit bigger. But then it comes with uh, sort of the idea of a place or a person or an NPC or whatever, uh, whether it be a robot or a person. But I think it would be cool to do something similar to, to uh, kind of like John Wick, where they have an NPC where you can store kind of like extra caps and stuff like that. Um, or maybe some extra legendaries. Um, maybe maybe he keeps tabs on like uh, faction guilds and stuff for like players and whatnot. Um, and who's in your faction? So like it would incentivize players to be able to get fall first to do factions. So like the faction leader to create a faction or um, like a guild, excuse me, could do that. And maybe all these other items that you put onto them could. Uh, you could pass back and forth between other characters, but only if you had follow first on that character, uh, or excuse me, on that account. The other thing I want to see put in the game is faction-specific vendors, which should already been put in since NPCs. Um, basically, Alliance Locked, 
after you do all the missions that are already in the game currently you'd be alliance lock you actually choose one but then you would just get access access to their specific vending which would have like brotherhood of steel would have brotherhood of steel stuff and you would earn like um reputation levels with them and things like that um enclave would have enclave specific stuff i think that'd be the easiest one foundation would have their own uh crater raiders i think Ra Ra would be kind of funny to have as like the vendor and the responders i think responders should be in flatwood still if they if if they do implement this idea that i have i don't think they should do it at white springs there's just way too much going on there but also it's it's kind of annoying and I really wish there was a presence more at responders for the responders because that's the first thing that players see when they come out. Last but not least, free states. I want to see free states as actual NPCs um, and I think they could take over the armory and fix it up and I think that could be a cool safe place in the mire. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. These are just some of my quick ideas thrown out there. Like I said, I'm not a huge YouTuber, so if you could give me a like or spread the video, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.